Much that passes for policy in the Australian Labour Party is mere hatred of conservatives and obsequious servitude to their union masters. But the unions don't exploit it responsibly. A senior journalist on Channel 7 is caught out lying about Tony Abbott's trip to the front, claiming Mr Abbott dismissed the tragic death of an Australian soldier with shit happens. He got words on tape and publicly harangues Mr Abbott, but is seen on a wider edit to have inflated a poignant acknowledgement from Mr Abbott, showing he was indeed aware of the enormity of the situation. The journalist is caught out, but is still in a position slinging mud and lying about wider Canberra political events. Channel 9 have a senior political editor that has campaigned against the Conservative parties for the Australian Labour Party for some 40 years. He has been caught out many times, but retains his position. So it is understandable when the Australian Association editor John Lyons lies about SBS hiring a known bigot hostile to federal police, conservatives and decent people. We know Lyons is looking for job security. Lyons had also lied about Mr Abbott wanting to unilaterally invade Iraq. Who believes the lies told about the Conservatives? We are told that same-sex marriage is marriage equality, and what Mr. Abbott is wrong to abide party policy and ask for people to vote on the issue. We are told people want his government to write laws reflecting nothing like what was campaigned at election, and if he doesn't, then his government is no longer liberal. We are told that it is compassionate to drown people wanting to come to Australia because that is what the Australian Labour Party does. We are told a highly respected judge who agreed to give a talk on a law at a lecture at the same in the name of a highly respected deceased lawyer is about as biased as Gillian Triggs for the HRC who lied about what she saw at a detention centre and had held up an inquiry which might have reflected badly on the Australian Labour Party so as to attack an incoming Conservative government. Consider the polls at the moment. Clearly a substantial number of those being polled believe those lies, which is another reason why the media spread them. ABC insiders claimed the Abbott government has had a week from hell. They claimed the highly respected judge leading an effective royal commission should step aside because he appears biased to them. They also claimed that Australian people are demanding that churches are exposed to litigation for acting on conscience over same-sex marriage. However, looked at in cold light of reality, Mr. Abbott has appropriately given a good judge effective powers to appropriately establish what is happening regarding union abuse of power in industry. And Mr. Abbott has correctly proposed, prepared a way for Australians to register their values regarding same-sex marriage. It is worth pointing out that same-sex uh, married people live in Australia at the moment and have full married rights, and civil unions are already available to any, excluding the very young or animals or polygamists, Polygamists still get welfare.